Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In these videos, we are gonna learn about index option in Apache Hori in a fun, nice way. We are gonna start off with the bucket index. So let's get started with the video. Apache Hudi has two index option that is, uh, you know, basically global and non-global index. So first of all, global index can be used when you require uniqueness across all the partition. Non-global index can be used when uniqueness is not required across all the partition. Now let's discuss about the bucket index in detail. Bucket index are suitable for absurd use cases on huge data set with large number of file groups within a partition relatively even data distribution across partition and can achieve relatively even data distribution on bucket hash field column. It can have a better absurd performance in these cases due to no index lookup involved. This is very important. As the file groups are located based on a hashing mechanism, which is very fast. This is totally different from both simple and bloom index where explicit lookup step is involved during the write operation. Again, this is important for you to understand, okay? The bucket here has a one-to-one -one mapping with the hoodie file group. And since the total number of bucket is defined by the user, you define it by default, it's four, which is fixed here, as you can see, it can potentially lead to skewed data or data distributed unevenly across the bucket and scalability, which is the buckets can grow over the time, which is an issue. This problem has been resolved with uh, a new RFC that they have released in Apache Hoodie 0.13, which is consistent hashing. We're gonna talk about that in the next video, not in this video. Okay, so let's, let's, take, a, let, let's take a look at a demo, right? That's how we understand. Let's see how to use bucket index. So here we're gonna define our imports. I'm defining my, you know, simple, I'm importing PySpark, I'm importing Faker, DateTime, OS, and UUID. Here I'm defining my Spark configuration on my computer. As you can see, I'm providing this package that is hoodie.13, I'm using Spark 3.3, right? So I'm creating a Spark session right here, right? Again, very simple, straightforward. This is a class which will generate data. It's gonna generate some fake data points. And here is the thing that you need to learn right? The settings. I'm going to keep it very simple for you. So the database name is hoodie DB. The table name is hoodie bucket index. The record ID is employee ID and the state. Okay. I'm using uh, a composite key here. Okay. This is the path to my data lake. Precom key is used for dedupe purposes. Method type as absurd. Table type as copy on right. Now bucket index hash field. So what does this mean is basically, uh, you know, when a record goes right, hoodie is basically will have its internal hash function, right? And that hash function will tell uh, this record should go into the which bucket? Bucket zero, one, two, three, right? So I am saying to the hoodie, when you perform that hash, perform that hash on a column called state. I am choosing that column. So here I'm saying the ho to hoodie, and again, you can come and read here index key field value to be used as a hashing to find the bucket ID. Okay. So basically that's that. And the partition is here. So basically I'm going to partition my data like by year. So inside the year, I'll see all these bucket, right. Um, which will be hashed on the state, right. You'll see it. You, you'll see this in action again. Now, you can set the absurd shuffle parallelism. Again, you can play with that number, right? So here are the settings. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. Hoodie index type as bucket. Hoodie index uh, bucket engine as simple. Then I'm defining the number of bucket as four. You can change the number. By default, if you don't provide, it's four. And here I'm providing on the column on which I wanna perform the, uh, the hashing, right? I'm saying, Hoodie, please perform that on the state. And then here I'm using the partition on here, right? So I'm basically gonna partition that by here. So I'm gonna generate uh, a thousand data points and I'm gonna perform an insert into my you know, transactional data lake. Again, my data lake is on my computer. I'm doing everything locally. The entire notebook and the exercise file is readily available for you to download and play with it. So I really wanna show you something. So let me go quickly to the temp where my data lake is. So here. Observe, you see, uh, these are all folders created, right? Now, if I go to a folder, observe something carefully, right? 
do you see a number 000010010010020002003 so that's basically that bucket that we were talking about so i told hudi that maximum you can do like four so if i open one of the parquet files that is 001 now remember i did that hashing i told hudi to do the hashing on uh state right so for example if i really want to show you so if you see california and florida is in in 001 and if i open 003 in the same year of course 1984 uh you see texas rj right so basically what i'm trying to say is basically i told hudi that perform the hashing on the state column right so now when i issue a query like i say hey give me or basically when you want when you want to perform an upsert for example uh, upserting the data to let's say 1984 uh, for the state of let's say california or let's say uh, connecticut ct right it will be much more faster right because it will avoid that index lookup right now one of the downsides how would i call a downside but again the number of buckets as i said in the beginning right you have to define the number of buckets now in the new rfc they have came up with consistent hashing which means the bucket size can dynamically grow and reduce we are going to talk about that in the next video okay so but yeah again uh, you know here you can see 30.5 seconds uh, you know for the upsort uh, works pretty great right um, and here are all the references if you want to you know dive into more detail please feel free and read this uh, a little more again uh, in this video i have discussed about bucket index type in apache hudi in the uh, upcoming next video i'll be covering other index option in apache hudi maybe we'll come cover cover up uh, global uh, global index in which we are going to cover bloom then we are going to cover um, non global index in that we are going to cover we already covered bucket index we are going to cover uh, i guess consistent hashing and couple of more of that but those are in the next video i'll perform i'll give you the lab exercise so you can play with it you can see what settings to use right uh, that's all i have for this video um, i hope you have enjoyed if you did enjoy make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any more question please do not hesitate to put your question in the comment box i'll try my best to answer and if i don't know i'll ask someone i'll learn myself and then i'll let you know thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video